That's a penis. That, there's a penis over there, yes. Him? Oh. <laughs> He, there's a person kneeling, and here's a better redrawing of that uh, image. Oh. oh, I see. So here you can oh, see the offering of the ball game, for example. These are uh, the offering in Chichen Itza, and this is the one in Koba, guys. In here you can see that this guy is gonna offer blood from the penis, and he have a dagger in a shape of a snake, and the snake represents fertility for the Mayan people, guys. If we take a look of the one in Chichen Itza, guys, we can see a ball player ha grabbing the hip mm -hmm. of another ball player that had been decapitated. Right. And you can see the blood going like in the shape of snakes, okay? So Chichen Itza, completely different uh, sacrifice than in here, guys, huh. all right? So, it's wrong to think that uh, like the Mayans were barbarians and they used to kill a bunch of people in their rituals and they, they, they used to kill the winner. That was not the case for Koba, for example, guys, okay? In Koba, they only used to pierce down there. Sometimes they used to pierce the, the tongue, the ears, and the knees, okay? And we can see the same uh, offering in the description over there. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, I would have yeah, much yeah. rather play ball in Koba. This was uh, yeah, only so made by the rulers, guys. No. It's not like a low class person is going to come here and yeah. yeah. go for the blood. This is just a job for the, for the high class people, the rulers. Fair enough.